Uh, hello, my friend. Hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lesson, uh, I want to show you how to handle multiple matrix elements on the mobile screen correctly. And by the way, sorry for any background noise around. Okay. So first thing first, uh, we try to uh, we uh, we need to open the Appium desktop here. Uh, you go to you start on the box uh, forty seven twenty five. Okay. Uh, or any other box, but uh, okay. I think you still remember what I already explained. So in this case, I will go to the same capabilities here and I will select the, the one that we used before and I click on the start session. So just wait uh, a little uh, for the Appium server here can try to unlock the mobile screen and open the target application for us. Okay, here we go. Um, so now, for example, I want to, uh, let me try to click on the login here first and then try to tap on that uh, element. Uh, so now, for example, I want to simulate a situation where you have a two magic element that's up uh, on the mobile screen. For example, uh, you, you specify an expect value and that is the one, the, the you know, something like we call it is something like um, the best, the the best value that you can find out. But unfortunately, it returns for you not only one element on the page, but se several elements. So in that special case, so you need to handle yourself correctly, uh, how to um, deal with that uh, situation. Okay. So now let me try to simulate first. So uh, from what I observe, uh, so we have some tech, uh, you see the tech login here. And if you click on the login here, uh, label here, you probably see something related to the tech value login again. So now if you find something uh, by using expect or with the value double slash, and now you boot star, okay? Because we will go directly to the condition, so we need to boot star. Without star, it will be failed, okay? So now the attribute will be at tag equal uh, login, and then then I hit on the search button. So you will see it return for me two matrix elements. So in this case, the first element. So in this case, the first element is on the left, you see it's a highlighted here. And the second one is this one, right? So that means it returned for me two matrix elements and I need to handle myself. For example, this is the best value, the expect value that I have. So that means I need to handle in script myself, okay? So now I click on the done here. Just go back to the script. And now I will create a new test class with something like uh, handle handle uh, multiple classes ah uh, sorry multiple uh, matrix element so you can name uh, any so um, by the way I just want to explain a little so uh, the best convention that you name the Java class name start with uh, something like uppercase here but you see here something is not uppercase because i just want a demonstration uh, something related to the api how to interact with the element so i just want to put something related to the action here okay so just the uh, ignore about the convention here so now in this class i will create a main method like before and i will create the appium uh, driver instance here so appium uh, driver uh, appium driver equal appium driver extension that we already have and then i call get appium driver to so, uh, first thing for this step i want to start an appium uh, session okay so after that i want to click on uh, login label then I will try to uh, get uh, the element, uh, try to find 
element so uh, matrix uh, with the expect value double slash store at type equal uh, login okay so let's try to copy something from click on element before so we already have this one right and we click here so i just want to copy this one and then i paste here so this is the way we click on login uh label here let's see what's it, the error uh required type is a mobile application but we provide web element file element by accessibility id uh Appium driver uh What's going on here? Mobile application, file element by accessibility ID. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, because we didn't specify the mobile element here. So that's why by default it's assumed that we are using the uh, web element. Okay, so we need to specify mobile application here. So after we click, uh, we will be navigated to this screen. And now I will try to uh, you mobile uh, element uh, list up should be an array so list up mobile elements so try to import the list from Java YouTube here you see a uh, list of mobile element uh, we call it a uh, login text okay login text uh, login text element on the screen equal appium driver dot five elements you see the s five elements okay five elements uh, but i'm not going to use this one so i'm going to use this one five elements as you see five elements by aspect here and in this case i will provide the aspect value here so i put inside so i just want to avoid something like this one because you see we uh, have double code outside so inside we need to use the backslash here to escape it but uh, in just in case you don't want to have something like that you just put the single code inside should be okay so now if everything was okay after the line 21 here it will return for us a list of elements that's matching on the page okay so now let me try to print out something like login label dot size and then i will try to print out this is a size and i will print something like how many element matches and plus this one so it will print for us okay now i want to run this one first to see how many element matches first okay and I want to demonstrate for you another case. Okay, so if I put something like mobile element here only, and I call it uh, login uh, first login test first login tag element here, I stand for elem here. You see equal, and I just copy the same here, but I will remove the s here. So that's been I just want to uh, find just only one element on the page using aspect. Okay, so now in this case, I will try to do something like uh, okay, let's try to run first and see what happened. Okay, so before running it, uh, you need to make sure that you start the IPM server first. Okay, now you click on the run button here and run it. Uh, let me try to open the Appium server log here. <clears throat> okay, now it's trying to unlock the screen and then try to launch the target application. Uh, just a little more. Here we go, and it trying to connect with the Bootstrap box launching now. Yep, 
So yeah, you see here from the control log here, you can see how many element matches. So we got to, okay, we got to just go back here. For example, let me try to explain for you a little more. So for example, this aspect value will return for you to match element on the screen, but just only you put something like list here, you see a list of mobile elements. So it will return for you a list of elements that matches with that one. And in this case, we know that this one will return for us an array of element that match it in this case it too. But for example, you don't put something like a list of mobile element here, but you just put a single mobile element here. That means even this strategy match it more than one element on the screen, it just return for you the first one. It just return for you the first one that matches with the strategy. So in this case, it the login tab here, right? So that's it, the, the 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 thing here. So let me try to do it, and then you can see. So if I use something like first login test element here, and I use the click here, so after this action, nothing will happen. Okay, nothing will happen. So now let me try to run again, and then you can see whether I am correct or not. Okay. So while waiting for it to launch the target application, I just want to remind again, if you uh, try to specify just mobile element, not a list of mobile elements. So even your strategy match it with uh, multiple elements that FBM can find on the screen, it just returns for the first one only. Okay, just the first one only. So just pay attention about that. So how many element match it? So in this case, just only one. So, oh, so maybe uh, something related to the element display, but don't worry, we will have another lesson about that. So let's try to run again, and then I will open the visual app, and then you can see what will be going on on the mobile screen, okay? It's because in this case, it's, it's will click, but uh, we probably will, will see nothing happen because it's will click on the tab only, and it will not navigate anywhere, okay? So now where the visor app are uh, here. You see, it click on the login. And then I think it will click here. So there's something related to the weight here. So we will have another uh, lesson related to explicit weight strategies. Uh, so I just want to use the thrust slip in this case for demonstration for but okay so do not use this one in your real test script okay so i just want to use it here uh to try to delay a little and then we can get the size is now two again okay uh, but you you don't use it like that okay let's try to run again Ah, oh, sorry, let me try to open the visual application and the app unblock here so you can see. So now the app is launching. After click, if you wait two seconds, and let me see what's the going on here. Uh, the tag echo. Uh, Locking uh, something wrong here, so it's wait here and the tag equal locking here. It just throw immediately does uh, an unknown server side occurred while processing the command. Uh, could not proxy command to the remote server socket hand up something related to the rpm server anyway we need to run again uh, now let's try to open the visor application and the uh, rpm uh, server login here so now uh, is it trying to open okay here we go 
it will wait two seconds, you see, and now you see how many element magnitude is two, but nothing happened after that because actually it clicked on the text here. Okay, so this is the main purpose that I just on the demonstration for you here. So now, just go back to uh, the way how we handle multiple metric elements. So for example, let me try to delete this one. Let me try to delete this one as well. Up, oh, I just want to keep this one. Okay, so just again, don't use in your real test script. This is a demonstration purpose only. And then I will have another lesson for you to how to handle it. So here we have something locking text element and we probably know that if you return a list of element. In this case, I will try to declare final integer and I will define something like login uh, tech, uh, login tech form. Okay, I, I call something like that. Login tech form uh, index equal zero. Okay, because this will be the first element from the, the list, this one. So the index should be zero and the second one here it should be uh, one right so let me try to duplicate you see locking uh, maybe a locking menu locking menu okay that's work as well locking menu tag uh, index here equal one okay so now if I want to click on the uh, locking here uh, the locking menu here so probably nothing happened again mm, maybe let me think maybe we will click on the form okay instead instead of click on the login we can click on the form here because if we click in this screen we click on the login nothing happened and then we cannot see so at the first step i think we need to click on the form here uh, and then after that we can but on the form here maybe it will be okay just try to tap here okay the form here is will return to uh let me try to refresh the screen okay let me try to start again hmm. i didn't think about us uh actually i don't think we need to run it in the real uh test script okay just keep it simple so here the way you handle that you declare the index of all the elements that you already uh knew about it so if you want to interact with the first one, so you call something like uh, locking uh, tag element now, so you get, so if you want to click on the first one, you get here, you see, get the locking tag from index and then you click something like that. If you want to interact with the second one here, you just copy this one, uh, locking element, and then you get the index here from the second one here. And then, for example, you try to call the get text ABI here to get the value out, okay? So in this case, if you read the text script, it will be more easier for you to read the, what's it going on here. So you get an array of elements now, and then you get the locking text form index, locking menu text index, okay? So just in the situation that you, you have a very best expert and you, you, you cannot, uh, you cannot find out uh, another way to handle and that's return for you an, uh, an array of elements. So in this case, you need to handle yourself in the text script that for something like you need to declare the index and something like that and handle here correctly, okay? So I think this is very much for this lecture. Uh, bye for now and see you in the next lecture, okay?